always challenge Pakistan as uh, by our teachers and our mentors they brought the program to us and we were introduced to entrepreneurship as a whole we didn't know about that before the challenge so it gave us a lot of info and a lot of new skills Karachi is the biggest city of Pakistan and uh, here in Karachi each day like every day we produce more than 13000 tons of waste and uh, that's the biggest problems that Karachi is facing right now as we know all over the world people have uh, started to create awareness about global warming and how we should work against uh, reducing the pollution and everything but here in Pakistan not many uh, projects were being initiated for this purpose only so here in Pakistan if we take Karachi's example in only in March right now we have like 40 to 42 degrees Celsius that's impossible for Karachi during March so that's really hot and that uh, that's just because of the global warming that's because of the plastic that's being burned the gases that are produced the harmful uh, chlorofluorocarbons so we wanted to come up with an alternative to plastic the only alternative that my team could think of that would be safe for the environment, it would be cheap and it will be helpful for the uh, reducing the pollution problem would be using coconut bowls. These coconut shells, they're usually just uh, burnt away and that again causes combustion and uh, those gases are built up. So we wanted to reduce that and uh, by using these bowls, these shells, we can uh, easily cater to two to three problems. So once we can uh, consume them and we can refine those and clean those and properly make them into proper bowls which can be used for about three years and that's our basic idea. For the Enterprise Challenge Pakistan we had divided all the jobs among all five members of our team so each member had a specific job they had to do for the, uh, the project. So when the results were announced we cheered a lot if you could see our videos you would truly say that we were literally acting so, so cheerful, like we clapped a lot, we cheered and literally had the best day ever. So actually uh, winning the Enterprise Challenge was a dream come true because we would now get a chance to actually implement our ideas and to uh, work on the business itself. We will be able to implement and do something for the environment as we had already planned. So it was like a big dream come true for us and we were truly happy, we are really proud. So at the end of it all, I would like to thank all of the people who were involved in the Enterprise Challenge Pakistan. I would like to personally thank you from the bottom of my heart for making this dream come true of ours, for providing this wonderful platform for showcasing our ideas and to give us this wonderful opportunity to actually make our dreams come true.